Many Southern California businesses are struggling to survive during the pandemic. Restaurants especially took a big economic blow when they could no longer offer in-person service. Trident CBS 2's Michelle Gili shows you one Long Beach owner who is risking more legal fallout by violating shutdown orders. The kitchen is open and lunch is being served on the patio, despite a notice of closure hanging on the front door of restoration in Long Beach. I'm not a political person. I am just here to make food, to pay my bills, and to take care of employees. Like, literally, that's all I want to do. So you're going to stay open? Yes. Owner Dana Tanner has had her health permit suspended, and she's now facing criminal charges for violating the city's coronavirus health orders by allowing outdoor dining. It's the first case of its kind in Long Beach. Well, we heard about that last night and we wanted to come in and support her because we don't really agree with a whole lot of this shutdown and pe keeping people locked down. We were hoping that Long Beach would eventually become like Orange County and have a lot more places open. Additionally, Dana Tanner has been hit with six different citations this month alone with fines totaling more than $2,000. Long Beach Code Enforcement says restoration has failed to comply with L.A. County's stay-at-home guidelines. The 4th Street business has remained open since December. I made that difficult decision because, as I was saying before, it's there's a difference between being closed because you feel like it's the right and safe thing to do and being closed because you're afraid of what people are going to think of you. And I chose to make that hard decision uh, because I have team members that need me. I currently have a team member living at my house. City prosecutor says this is a rare instance where one business owner is engaged in egregious behavior. Late today, Dana Tanner had a hearing before environmental health officers about the status of her restaurant's health permit. No decisions were made. The issue was continued until tomorrow. In Long Beach, Michelle Geely, CBS 2 News.